Okay, welcome to the Northeast Iowa Crop Report here. My name is Nick Benson. It's July 27th, 2021. So it's that time of the year again where we talk about root digs. Um, so we've definitely been seeing an increase in rootworm feeding populations. Um, I'm seeing way more damage out there than I would like to see. Um, and uh, but, but what I'm doing right now is I'd like to show you just, we talk about root digs, we talk about doing root digs. Uh, but, but very few people do root digs because of the task of, of digging and harvesting this many roots and getting them washed. So through the years, um, as we've seen a need to get a lot of roots um, dug to assess damage, uh, they do call it the billion dollar pest, so it does a tremendous amount of damage out there. Um, I've kind of tried to hone you know, ways to do it well and to, to get um, a lot of roots dug. So I'll talk a little bit about what we do. Um, first off, one thing we use is if you guys that have been following me, I use a bigger shovel this time of the year, so you gotta bring your shovel along. And then the other tool that I've used that I really like is a loppers. And, and so this is what I use to cut that corn off. Um, so when I'm in the field, I'm not having to deal with, you know, a seven, in, seven foot tall corn plant. Um, and then I get the help of a friend, um, a, a good hardworking friend, uh, to help get mass quantities done. Uh, and then we do three locations, three to four locations per field, five roots per, per location. Uh, I write right on the, the stalk and I write right on the tape so I know what root it is, where it's from. And then after we dig them, put them in the water, leave them here for a couple hours, come back, make sure they're in running water. I literally have not washed these roots at all. I haven't touched them. I've put them in the water, I've moved them over to the swift water, and this is the first time I'll wash them. And at, and at that point, five seconds of swishing in the water, I'm able to come in here and score these, score these root scores. So it really is a good way. I was out this morning for about four hours with, with another guy and my son helping label things, put them in the truck, and we got about 125 roots stuck. Um, really pretty efficient way to get a lot of roots, of roots um, done. And so next I'll show you how to score roots. Okay, so we got this root washed off thoroughly here. I wanted to show you how to score rootworms. It's the Iowa node root node, Iowa State root node injury score, NIS. <laughs> well, looky here. Well, look at what we found floating down the... This is the other nice thing about digging roots in the water. You never know what you'll find. Well, there's a crock floating by. Wow, that's great. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see if anything else floats by. Um, so, what we're doing here to score uh, root node injury, it's off the Iowa State uh, root node injury scale. And we're gonna go and uh, count, it's, it's a zero to three scale, okay? And so we'll take these first nodes off because they're not really touching the ground. And you count three nodes worth of root. So this is the first node. The first set of nodes. Okay, so I'll go right around here. And if it's within an inch and a half to the root it's a it's a tenth of a point or a percentage of these roots so this is one's gone two's gone three's gone four's gone you look in this you can see real close this is a healthy tip hasn't touched the soil yet this is brown and this has been completely chewed off so five or six seven that one's not this one's even chewed again if we look close you can see it's actually chewed off right here. Seven. So we're at about 70, 70% 70 on that. So that's 0.7. So now we go down to the, we'll get these broken off. And then we go to the next node. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So again, we're, about 80% on this next node. So that's 1.8. 
on that node. And then we get to this last node. I see one. I'd say about 10%. So we're at about a 1.8 score on that root. 1.8 is definitely over economic threshold. Economic threshold on rootworm damage is really, really subjective. If we have a dry August, you, you know, under a one is going to do economic damage. If we have plenty of moisture, we can get up to 0.13 and still uh, be without damage. Moisture has a lot to do with it. So anyway, that's how we do our rootworm scores. We do this so we know what's, what we're gonna do next year. So if I'm seeing damage like this, this year and this field in particular there was a tremendous amount of rootworm beetles clipping silks um, just a lot of a lot of beetles out there saw some gooseneck corn which is when the corn stalk kind of does a gooseneck um, we say hey we should be either doing a full rate of insecticide or preferably the very best thing is rotating to soybeans or alfalfa um, and so the message what i've been seeing especially today doing root digs the message is, is we really have to pay attention. Um, I have seen the highest level of rootworm pressure in the last nine years this year. So the last time I saw pressure this big was in 2012. Uh, it's 2021 and I am seeing more pressure now than I've ever seen. So um, that's the Northeast Iowa Crop Report. My name's Nick Benson. If you want to like us on Facebook or subscribe and you're able to get these updates when I do do them. So my name is Nick Benson with Federal Hybrids. Thanks for watching.